द नेटफ्लिक्स कोरियन सीरीज क्वीन मेकर डिरेक्टेड बाई ओ जिन सियोक एंड स्टारिंग किम ही आई मून सोरी एंड यू सो यंग इन द लीड रोल्स वॉज रिलीज ऑन नेटफ्लिक्स अ फ्यू डेज अगो so we thought this would be the perfect time to give you an overview and discuss some hidden details of the series so that you can have the best viewing experience a spoiler warning is in order as we will be discussing essential plot points and character details from the series so if you haven't been able to catch up with the series yet maybe you should pause the video and get back to watching it on netflix but if you are done watching it already kindly follow us through the video and yeah while you are at it please like the video and subscribe to our channel it helps us a lot thank you and let's move on The series starts with Wang Do Hee who is the general manager of corporate strategy for the formidable conglomerate Yonsung Group. For the past 10 years she has been referred to as Yonsung go to lady since she adeptly hides all of their scandals and devotedly supports the family. When the owner Miss Son recruited her she had no prior experience and now she is one of her most trusted employees. Do Hee goes above and beyond for Miss Son's family to demonstrate her worth and loyalty. The two daughters of Miss Sun Seo Jin and Chai Ryung perceive each other as rivals, so the two women do not get along. When the Seoul mayor declines to serve as Miss Sun's puppet, she pushes him to retire and makes arrangements to have Bai Jae Min, the husband of a younger daughter, elected as the next mayor. Do he is then approached by Jae Min, who informs her that Han Ye Sul, his secretary, has been attempting to seduce him. He turned down her advances but now she is threatening to blackmail him by accusing him of sexual assault. So do he threatens her using her past life in an effort to stop her from making a controversy. She refuses to hear Isul's side of the story and terminates her permanently. After finding no other way, Isul meets do he and jumps down from the office building. Do he discovers that Jaemin lied to her after reading the emails he had violated Isul sexually and manipulated Do he to punish a helpless and innocent woman. And Jaemin finally reveals his actual self to Do he when she confronts him. In the meantime, a labor rights lawyer Oh Kyun Sook has been staging a demonstration on the roof of Yeon Sung's office for multiple days. 500 part-time employees were recently let go by the store and Kyun Sook has been fighting to ensure their rights are upheld. She had previously resisted Do Hee's attempts to reason with her, but Do Hee changes her mind recently after Isul's passing and resolves to save Kyun Sook, who is about to be removed from the rooftop. When the security executives attempt to drag Kyun Sook away, Do Hee steps in and takes the blow in her stead. In the messy struggle, Kyun Sook gets pushed out of the rooftop where she is saved by an inflatable jumping cushion. With this action, she becomes a hero among the masses as they think she did it to show her resolve for the protest. Jae Min, on the other hand, further enhances his reputation by bringing back the dismissed employees. And Do He resists Miss Sun's pressure to help Jae Min's campaign as she does not want to give that monster authority over the city. As a result she is fired without being given any notice and Miss Gook a junior employee quickly takes her place. In addition to that the kidney transplant for her father is scrapped and he is released from the hospital. They even take away the car and the house that she was given by the company. Do he then promises Miss Sun that she will overthrow her from her throne and for that she needs to persuade Kyun Sook to run for mayor against Jae Min. Kyun Sook initially rejects her but Do Hee ultimately convinces her and Kyun Sook openly challenges Jae Min that she will run against him in the upcoming election. She and Kyun Sook agree to collaborate but Kyun Sook cautions her that she will not put up with any of her dishonest tactics. Meanwhile, Jae Min sends men to deal with Do Hee but she somehow escapes their efforts to stop her from working with the lawyer. To build up a campaign of his Kyun Sook and list the assistance of a publishing company she had previously defended. And it turns out that the assembly woman Seo Min Jung, a seasoned politician whose policy director Mr. Ma is also Do Hee's ex-husband, is Kyun Sook's main rival. Do Hee's plan is to get her to run against Kyun Sook in a primary election so that she can seize her assets. And Miss Son on the other hand appoints Carl Yoon as specialist to run Jae Min's campaign in order to compete against someone like Do Hee. He must triumph in order for her grandest undertaking, the soon-to-be-open duty-free shopping complex of Yosung, called Heaven, to run smoothly. 
Chai Ryung is instructed by her mother to do nothing but support Jae Min until he wins the election and is replaced as manager of the department store by her elder sister Seo Jin who previously lost her status as the heir after she got divorced. Meanwhile, Do Hee organizes a TV debate between the two female contenders to damage Miss Seo's reputation. Do Hee's team releases a video exposing her opulent lifestyle just before the discussion. Do Hee also almost costs her the woman who has been financing her electoral campaigns for years. During the argument, Kyun Suk deviates from the plan and Do Hee leverages Miss Seo's relationship with the younger man to blackmail her into accepting the primary election. Carl teams up with Miss Seo, who is now determined to beat Kyun Suk at any cost after Miss Sun requests him to get rid of Do Hee when she causes trouble for Yo Sung and delays the development project. Kyun Suk was unaware that her general manager was who had utilized the money donated to reinstate discharged female employees for her own purposes. In order to damage her rival's reputation, Miss Seo uses extortion to get her to accuse Kyun Suk. Meanwhile, Carl kidnaps Do Hee's dementia-stricken father and abandons him in the middle of nowhere in order to stop Do Hee from performing damage control. As a result, her father is killed in an accident. Carl attends his funeral and Do Hee doesn't have to wait long to understand that her father's death was not a mere accident. Kyun Suk is aware of Wasu's situation and has no ill will toward her. In reality, she makes an effort to ensure Wasu's well-being. To take responsibility for Wasu's conduct, she decides to drop out from the election as she learned that feeling guilty for her actions, Wasu attempted suicide. To prove that Kyun Suk had nothing to do with Wasu's suicide attempt, Mr. Ma, who disagrees with Miss Seo's unethical techniques of blaming the suicide on Kyun Suk, turns on her at the last minute. Thus, Miss Seo is compelled to leave, and Kyun Suk, who chooses to carry on fighting, is named the Reform Party of Korea's official representative. Meanwhile, Jaemin gets himself attacked in public by an associate of Kyun Suk. In addition to that, he convinces a different contender to withdraw from the race. Do Hee is unaware that a campaign employee has been watching them for Carl. As a result, she is unable to persuade the women who have collaborated closely with Jaemin to testify against him. She then learns that the executives at Yonsung erased the CCTV footage from the day Isul committed suicide, indicating that there are some aspects of her death that she is still unaware of. When she goes to talk to Ms. Gook about it, she learns about her affair with Jaemin and the fact that she is now carrying his child. The two candidates and their campaign stop at nothing to win over the voters as the election nears. Carl then decides to go after Yunwoo, Kyun Suk's son. His supporters claim in a video that Yunwoo is a bully and a sex offender. After Yunwoo is taken into custody, Carl utilizes Yun Sung's resources and connections to have him charged with murder. Yun Woo forbids Kyun Suk from withdrawing her candidacy despite being granted a few hours to do so before her son suffers the consequences. To aid Kyun Suk, Mr. Ma joins the camp. Furthermore, Do Hee previously declined to accept illicit donations from Seo Jin, who does not want Jaemin to win since Chai Rong will then have an advantage over her. But later, she accepts it to win at any cost. To resolve the dispute, Do Hee threatens the youngster who was assaulted by Yun Woo to reveal the truth about what actually occurred to him. He confesses to the public that Jaemin's team paid Yun Woo's classmates to post lewd comments and pictures of Kyun Suk on his social media accounts to incite him to beat one of them. Both Kyun Suk and Yun Woo are saved by Do Hee. She also spreads rumors about Jaemin's affair with Ms. Gook and her pregnancy to discredit Jaemin's carefully cultivated reputation as a nice husband. Jaemin convinces Ms. Gook to say that these are only rumors. It doesn't help though, and Ms. Gook is now worried about her and her child's safety and passes out in front of everyone. Jaemin then makes his next move and he declares that if he gets elected, he will give the general public 50% share of the duty free store. He won't let Ms. Son or her daughters control him anymore because he realizes that they now depend on him. Additionally, he is also have Ms. Gook killed and accused Kyun Suk of degrading her reputation to eliminate the sole obstacle standing in his way and easily win the election. When Chai Rong meets Ms. Gook to persuade her to put on a show for the media, Jaemin tampers with the test results. Then shortly before Ms. Gook is driven away in a car, she informs Ms. Gook that she will soon be dead. Do Hee along with her senior are able to obtain CCTV footage from a structure close to Yeon Sun. That reveals Jaemin leaving the area shortly after Yosul's death while appearing completely unconcerned. 
Furthermore, do he rightfully predicts Jaimin's scheme to have Miss Gook assassinated when she sees Miss Gook and Chai Ryung in the news. She directs Kyung Sook's devoted assistant to pursue Miss Gook's car. However, do he is the one who discovers an unconscious Miss Gook trapped inside her car in the first place, about to be suffocated by a burning coal bricket. She gets attacked by Jamin's men before she has the chance to assist her in escaping as the assistant arrives there on time. But he gets stabbed as Dohi helps Miss Gook and escapes with her. He does however pull through the attack and is brought to the hospital after he is discovered hurt. During their final debate, Jamin puts Miss Gook's suicide letter online and frames Kyun Sook and Dohi as the culprit. Waso and other former allies of Kyun Sook come to her aid as the entire city turns against her. Kyun Suk decides to go live to address the populace and in the meantime Miss Gook awakens in the hospital and decides to confess the truth after speaking with Dohi. She joins Kyun Suk's live broadcast and discusses her relationship with Jaimin and his attempt to have her assassinated. She reveals the location of ICU's phone which has a recording of Jaimin pushing her from the roof when she asked him to confess what he did to her. Kyun Suk also plays the video while speaking with the Seoul residents. When Jamin's secret is revealed, Kyun Suk wins the election with ease and is elected the next mayor of Seoul. Do he meets Jamin and informs him that Kal Yoon falsely accused his father of being a corrupt politician years ago when he was on track to become the next president. As a result, Jamin's father committed suicide. Hearing this, Jamin falls to his knees as Do he promised him he will one day. Miss Sun does not hesitate to blame it all on Jaimin and have him killed then makes it appear as though he committed suicide after his misdeeds were discovered, which is probably the best outcome the film demand deserves. Even though Kyun Suk triumphs, she is unaware of the illicit finances and though he openly admits that she took money from Yun Sun. Seo Jin was tasked with transferring the funds from Miss Sun's slush fund account to do his personal account. She had always intended to put herself in harm's way to get this case looked into so that it could be established that Miss Sun had bought off a number of individuals for her duty free business. Though he is sentenced to prison after being proven guilty, she bids Kyun Suk goodbye and the investigation into the duty free business reveals the bribes and unlawful transaction connected to it. By donating 90% of the shares to the municipality for the benefit of the locals, Kyun Suk offers Yun Sun Grove the chance to stop the demolition of the duty free shop. When Miss Sun attempts to threaten Kyun Suk, she threatens Miss Sun back with the knowledge that Dohee has provided her, and Miss Sun is forced to forfeit 90% of the stock of her largest project. Siu Jin succeeds her mother as the owner of Yun Sung, despite her offer to become CEO of the logistics company, Chai Ryun declines it because she is still dealing with the reality that her mother was responsible for the death of her husband. Dohi, who is imprisoned, enjoys watching Kyun Suk on television. She is aware that Kyun Suk is contributing to the improvement of the common folk, but then a man approaches her in prison and asks for her assistance, probably to oppose Kyun Suk, giving us a hint for a second season of the show. The series ends on an ambiguous note, but the decision to end it at a high point is a pretty clever idea as it hints at a possible sequel to the show. The performances of the actors are the main attraction of the series as some of their portrayals of rich and power hungry evils got under my skin. As of now, we are not sure whether Dohi will work with the man or not, but the makers also made it pretty clear that revenge is a never ending cycle and that it circles back to whoever resorts to it. The show is pretty good in terms of writing and performances of the actors, but as of now, we are still unsure whether this show is going to have a season 2 or not. Hey, 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 thank you for watching this video. Do share your thoughts in the comment section about your experience of watching Queen Maker on Netflix. Hit the like button and subscribe to our channel to get your weekly dose of cinema and series. See you at the next one. And for the timing, we are signing off. I'm going to and I'll be back.